Now for the lip sync and the sound effects, uh, I want to have steps for the character feet. This make the character looks more real, uh, more in the real world. So I find some sounds for steps, but I didn't know where I didn't know where to place it. So what I did was that I knew that the step will happen one frame before one. Mm, two frames before the, the actual step. I knew where to place the steps in the timeline, but I didn't knew where these steps are in time. So what I did was a simple calculation. I know that 24 frames is one second. So I divide one in 24, and this is the time for every frame. So, because I knew the steps happened in this specific area, in this specific frame, the, the thing I did was multiply the number of frames for the time for each frame. And this gave me the exact time where every step happened. So, the only thing I need to do is find this specific time, 0 0.38. And if you check here, 0 0.38, oh, almost there. This is my first step, then my second step, then my third step, then stops, there is a sound effect here, and then the audio. And this way I knew that every step will happen, synchronize the animation and the audio. But what about the lip sync? Well, the lip sync is almost the same. I knew where everything happened here, so I just check where every word starts. So I check here it says oh no. So what I did was I took the time and I used this time for every word. So this time is for the frame 96. What I did was I simply multiplied the time for 24. So one second is 24, that means that I just need to multiply my time for 24 frames, and this gave me the exact position for every phrase. So you can check here, oh no, no, so oh no, 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 I knew that everything happened in exact frames. So when you go to clip, I knew when 93 was oh. 99 was no, 105 was no, 117 is no, and so forth. So this way I knew where every word will start and end. And I just mark every part with this uh, create label. It's quite easy. It's an animation label, create track label. You, uh, you uh, write whatever you need. For example, no, and how many frames it will take. It's 55. So this way is it plays the word, and you can use this as a reference. And if you don't like where it is, you can erase it. Let's do it again. In animation, label, delete track label. I have everything in the quick access because it's easier for me. So this way I knew that every word will happen in the exact moment. I need to. You are eating the car. Yep. And that's how I synchronize my lip sync with the audio, my special effects audios with my animation. It's quite simple. Another option for lip sync is Papagayo. Just write whatever you need everything in the spot you need and that's a way of making lip sync I like this way it's simple for me I need to use this software because of the special effects so it wasn't a big deal to do so that's it thank you for watching and if you have any question please let me know I'm going to continue with tutorials about this sketch remember if you want to watch this sketch you can check in the link below thank you Bye.